happy Thanksgiving, YouTube! If you're watching this, you probably already had Thanksgiving, but that's okay. Today, as I'm making this video, is Thanksgiving, and I'm gonna walk you guys through the entire process of what I'm cooking for Thanksgiving. Now, Eric, I, and Brookie are doing it by ourselves. I don't have any family out here. I think Eric's family's got some big crazy thing going on, and we did this last year as well. We're just doing it for ourselves. Last year I did get a tiny turkey breast and that was perfect. This year they were sold out when I went. I was like, screw it, I'll just get a 10 pound turkey and I did. It might even be 11 or 12 pounds, but I'm gonna cook it in the Camp Chef. I have the Pursuit, which is my brand new smoker. It hasn't even been set up yet, so we have to set it up today on Thanksgiving Day. Eric was doing some work and he's on his way home from doing that. He's gonna take care of setting up the smoker and right now I'm cooking everything else, all the side dishes. So let me walk you through it and show you guys what we got going okay, on. So our sides are going to be stuffing. The sausage is gonna go in the stuffing. It's gonna be incredible. Mashed potatoes, which the potatoes are boiling right now. We're going to do some sweet potato yams with the marshmallow, brown sugar, cinnamon, all that good stuff. Then I have turkey gravy. Yum, buttered rolls, cranberry sauce, and this big old gigantic turkey that's gonna be smoked and amazing. So I also have some corn we'll probably do. That'll probably be the only vegetable. I really don't feel like cooking more things on top of having two different types of potatoes for only two people anyway. And we have pumpkin pie for dessert. But this is the stuffing I'm using. Um, everything I'm doing first is cooking the butter, celery, onions, and carrots that I chopped up. And vegetable stock will go in there. Or chicken stock. The sausage will go in there. Potatoes are starting to boil. They'll be mashed up. And the yams are going to go in here. And the turkey's going to go in there in the camp chef. I'm in a cute dress for the occasion. <laughs> um, I started cooking all of this in my pajamas, which is why I have a little head start of things cooking. And you guys didn't quite see that, but I took a shower, got dressed, now we're ready to go. So I'm going to let the vegetables uh, simmer in that butter for a little bit longer, get really, really soft. Focus on my face, okay? Kind of, anyway. Um, the sausage is done, so I lowered that, and the potatoes are still waiting to boil, so that's taken care of. I guess I could start making the yams. Okay, so everything is in good shape, not gonna lie. I did all my shopping today. Um, We've been out hunting recently and just busy and I didn't really know what we were doing, if we were staying or going. So last minute it was just like, all right, we're gonna have it here. So I got all the groceries today. Everything you guys saw cost $100 for two people. I feel like that's so much, but, but it's all good. Um, it's worth it to have a nice, good home cooked meal. It's just definitely a lot of work. So, Props to all the moms out there. If there's any moms watching or husbands of badass moms, you guys just kill it cooking all this food for like huge families. Like I'm just cooking for me and Eric and Brookie who eats pate in the morning and doesn't really care about Thanksgiving dinner at all. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, props to you guys. You guys are the champions out there. So um, I'm gonna keep cooking. I'm excited for Eric to come home so that my camp chef can be set up. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Having him work on that will be good to help give me time to take care of all the stuff inside. Quick question for you guys. My dress has pockets, how cool is that? It's so cool. Okay, anyway, question for you guys. What are, I have a couple questions. Number one, what is your favorite part of Thanksgiving dinner? Mine is stuffing, stuffing in cranberry sauce. Oh my gosh. I really, really love it all, but I'm definitely obsessed with stuffing and pumpkin pie. All right, next question. What side dishes do you make? So, I have the yams, 
like the candied yams I'm gonna do by baking them and putting brown sugar, cinnamon, and marshmallows on them. And then I'm also making mashed potatoes and rolls. But I know that's a little different. Like I've done big Thanksgivings with my family back east before and there's like turnips, green beans, all these different things. So I'm curious what you guys, what you guys do for your sides for Thanksgiving and what is your favorite part about Thanksgiving dinner. So go ahead and comment below if you don't mind. But wait, I got one more question, all right? So, oh, have you guys ever smoked a turkey? This is my first time ever smoking a turkey. I'm curious if you've ever done it before and if you haven't, after watching this video, I'm curious if it's something you will try. That was three questions, you guys. You better be keeping track. You have three questions to answer. I'll be honest, you guys. Brookie is kind of hurting my feelings lately. She's so antisocial. She's usually right at my feet, and now all she does is lay in her bed. And she's not sick because she's healthy. She just chooses to sleep away from me. Brookie, you're hurting my feelings. You're hurting them, Brookie. Okay, sweet potatoes, casserole, whatever you want to call it, is up next. First step is to open the canned yams and drain them and mash them up. Okay, we got two cans of yams, two thirds cup milk, four eggs beaten. Let's see if this fancy thing works. Two teaspoons vanilla extract. Oh no. Douse. Okay, just added the sausage in for the stuffing. Mashed potatoes are done boiling. Holy multitasking. <laughs> and now I need to add vegetable oil and water in there and get these mashed up and in the oven. Okay, sweet potato casseroles in the oven. Stuffing is done. Mashed potatoes are done. Up next is the turkey, and Eric is currently back and working on setting up the camp shack. Okay, I just tried this stuffing. It's really, really good. I think every year I have the problem where I put too many things in the stuffing and then I maybe need a little bit more moisture so I gotta remember that for next year because I had to put a little bit more chicken stock in it to get it really soft because I loaded up with veggies and sauce. Now it's time to get the turkey ready. The main attraction. I'm glad that now my new camp chef will be set up. I can do things like make summer sausages and snack sticks out of deer. That is my favorite thing to do. Look at this big old turkey. Okay, oh, turkey's all set to be put in the camp chef, which is almost set up. I put some chicken stock on it, chicken broth. And I use this seasoning. I'll put all the information below for the stuff I used. Let's see. Looks good. I just cleaned up the kitchen. Everything is in order and ready to go. I'm gonna put some stuff in the fridge and just reheat it when the turkey's done. And I have a confession. I did spill something once, just a little bit of the topping for the sweet potato casserole, but I'd say that's a success. That's the fact that there's definitely brown sugar in my slippers. And yes, I'm wearing slippers. Side dish, I love Brussels sprouts. Okay, it's all set up. It's a really cute little one. If only you guys could uh, smell, yeah, how good it smells. But 
turkey fits in there perfect. <laughs> so this is the Camp Chef Pursuit. Right now it's set at high smoke. The turkey will cook in there for 45 minutes at high smoke and then we're gonna switch the setting. Just so you guys know, I'm using Camp Chef's own recipe on their website and I'll put a link to that below. But this is the pellets that we're using. Premium hardwood pellets. What was this flavor again? Oh, maple hickory cherry hardwood blend. Is that what it is? Yum. It smells so good. That sits for 45 minutes now. Ooh, it's really smoky out here. So timer just went off, which means it's time to change the setting from the high smoke. Let's see how it's, oh my gosh, it's looking so good. So it said to, oh, I got smoke in my eyes. <laughs> it said to set it to 400. Four hundred for an hour and a half. So I'm sure it'll heat up to that. It'll be good to go. Looks good, right? Let that do its thing for an hour and a half and then it's time to eat. Eric's checking the inside temp of the turkey. Holy smoky turkey. Where's that little red thing? Oh, it hasn't popped yet. Nope. That'll read it out here? Yeah, that's what you do. Two probe temps. So you can have two if you want. So the inside of the smoker is at 380. X, we don't have one in the X port. It's 150 degrees on the inside of the turkey. So it needs to be 170. So it's getting there. Keep cooking. So just close it up again. Yep, careful there, hot. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Ow, that's hot. They're way hot, right? Huh? That is a masterpiece right there. It looks perfect, doesn't it? Yeah. This thing didn't pop, but we measured it on the with the probes on the cam chef and it's plenty good. Looks so good. So now since these were all done a little bit before the turkey was done, I'm reheating them up real fast. And we got some nice big old rolls. These smell so sure. good. Check out the final product on this sweet potato casserole. It looks perfect. Making my plate. No sweet potatoes? Nope. Not yet anyways. Okay, last thing was the gravy and now it's time to eat. Alright, we finished. I uh, really wanted a little bit of everything, but I did not eat a whole lot. I got full really, really fast. I ate all the stuffing, cranberry sauce, and most of the turkey. So I'll definitely save that for leftovers. Eric did a little better than I did. Killed it. Did you like it? I love it. It was really good. My favorite was probably the stuffing. I think this was the best I made it. It was really good. And lots of good stuff in there. So that's all for Thanksgiving from us guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put all the information for smoking a turkey below. Uh, hey Brooke. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section and I will definitely answer them. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. We'll see you on the next video.